And it's for you, Charlie, about this page 38, part 2, exercises 6 through 10. Underline each noun to be made possessive and write singular or plural, the rule number and the possessive form. Part B, write each noun as singular possessive and then as the plural possessive. So, and then about what is the uh, uh, noun that we need to make possessive? Men, right? Okay, is that singular or plural? Plural, so you're going to use rule two or three. Rule three, because it doesn't end in an S yet, right? Okay, and then so we would say we spell M E N apostrophe S, spell. Turtle shells. What are we going to do? What's the noun that we're going to make? Turtles. Turtles. Singular or plural? Plural. plural. Rule two or three? Two. two. And then it ends with an S, so we just add a apostrophe. So turtle and then shells. Okay. Elk. What's the Singular possessive of that. So E L K S apostrophe S, sorry. Whoops. Okay, and what about the plural possessive? So E L K S with an apostrophe at the end, right? All right, what about L? So E L F apostrophe S. What about the plural possessive? L. So E L E L V E S apostrophe. Right? Okay, identify these indefinite pronouns as singular, plural, or either everybody. The body makes it singular. Some. Either, both, plural, because both has to be that there is at least two, right? None is either, because there could be none of one thing, or there could be none of a few things, right? Okay, and then anything. Singular, guys, because the thing makes it singular. All right, identify, identify these pronouns as subjective or objective or possessive. Him would be objective. I would be subjective. Our would be possessive. It's ownership. You would be objective or subjective. She is subjective. It is objective or subjective. It is plural. And us is objective. Write the capitalization and punctuation and corrections only. Keys. And Holly. Crossy Snowman. Capital. Oh, not understand. And then Frosty the Snowman is a what? The song, so you have to put it in quotation marks. And Jingle Bells. Capitalize. And quotation marks for the Christmas program last Monday. And okay, so for vocabulary A and B, write the letter of the correct definition, synonym and antonym in the boxes. Okay. 
So withered would be what is its definition? To lose the freshness. So letter C goes here. And remember, these boxes go together. And then these boxes go together. And then the antonym and the synonym goes in these boxes. And the antonym goes in these boxes. Okay, so venture, what's the synonym for venture? Um, um, yes, attempt. Attempt, so letter F goes here. And then antonym for venture is I quit. So sometimes if you can at least figure out the synonym, can you know that the opposite of attempt is quit? Yeah. Okay, so you guys are going to do 33. 34, 36, and 37 for homework.